Hey ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, and welcome to another edition of the Senate Shorts. I'm your host, Neil John, as always, by my brother from another mother, and your host, Derek. Here. Yeah. And together, we bring you another shortened version of the Senate Podcast. Now, like, comment, share, subscribe, or dislike, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell regardless so that you would not miss anything coming down the pipeline. But the most important word I just said is share. Share the content so we can either build the community or tear it down, depending on if you're a supporter or detractor of our content. Now, Brum Brother, what have you got in the chamber for this edition of the Senate Shorts? I got a video here from TikTok. It was sent in by our guy, Kevin Manning. So, shout out, Kevin. Yeah, and, sense um, of wellness. He sends some yeah, wellness. Yeah, in, indeed, he does sense of wellness. And when he sent me this one, he sent back a whole set of stickers. Some of them had some vituperative language that I cannot repeat here. So um, let's have a watch of this video. All right, so for me to sleep at night, I gotta rationalize this. I think when it says best friend, that they're actually boyfriend. <laughs> nope. uh, uh, hold on, uh, uh, they're, they're, uh, uh, do not, come on, don't tell me Santa Claus in real. Do not tell me that. Do uh, not do that. Don't tell me that. I can stop you right there because I thought that too. So what I did, because I am who I am, I took a dive into the comment section. Oh, Jesus, bro. this can be a rough. Right. I didn't think it was so rough. So we have a couple of people saying, one person says, that's your future husband, sis. Don't let it slip away. He really loves you. I've never seen a best friend proposal. He's on another level. Happy for you. And then the black heart emoji, right? And her response was, thank you, baby. And he ain't going nowhere. Trust me. Somebody says, girl, he in love with you. He says, I know, I know. And then this one was the one that really intrigued me. Somebody says, that's your man now. Y'all more than friends after this. And her response was, maybe laughing emoji with two eyes. Then somebody else says, the best lovers are the ones that are best friends first because they don't been there through it all with you and still love you. Somebody, then we had another contributor, that man in love with you for real. He just don't know how to say it yet. That's perfect. I don't know how much clearer he could do. Don't know how to say. Just so you put a legit a whole ring for you, bigger. He got put up on the moon. I know. Yeah, perfectly sized and everything. Huh? She ain't even had a struggle to get it on. Somebody says, "Oh, beautiful. My daughter has a male best friend that did this. Oh, I'm so grateful for him. 
he brought her out of a dark place now they are inseparable and her response to that is baby he definitely helped me through mine somebody asks why is this not your man that boy love you sis i mean i'm sure there are reasons so yes i need to know because what are they and she says when we first met we both was just looking for a friend because i was healing from a horrible past relationship yeah and then this one here this one annoyed me just a little bit some of us women definitely need to pay attention to this because if a man isn't applying real pressure like this then he ain't it sis but then this one this one this one i did agree with somebody said god giving you the man you pray for let him go and every relationship after gonna be bs there's a word circling in cringy this was cringy no before y'all come and say oh what's wrong with you Oh, best friend ring blah, 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 we purposely are not going to play the music we, I purposely did not play the music because a copyright has some music in there that we didn't want to get in trouble for but also too, I think it's a good thing to not have that sound so you can really understand that without context that looks like a man proposing to his woman uh-huh. if you were to watch that you didn't see text best friend as a matter of fact I saw the term, the term best friend in the caption and I thought that this, these were boyfriend or girlfriend that were best friends. And he's, pro- and he's proposing to his women. Women, I got to address the women there. I got to address the women. This ain't a standard for friendship. Don't say you want a male best friend like this. Because that man loves that woman. Like, like love, love. That ain't platonic love there. That man want to marry that woman for real for real and spend the rest of his life with that woman for real for real i'm not saying the man ain't a friend i ain't saying the man ain't there for her anything but that man wants to wife that woman for real for real so if you want to go there and sit try to find a man that's a best friend that gonna try to that one wife you because that's what that is men ain't playing that game what you see in there is a rarity what you see in there should that that don't happen right that man as a matter of fact i would eat there I'll even I'm gonna even I'm gonna even get on the bandwagon of the patriarchy and say that that man is really applying pressure to force that woman to get in a relationship with him. Yeah. Imagine you got a best friend. You got a best friend. Best friend, female best friend. You got a best friend. You carry the woman up on a big date. It looked like a friend there, so mom might be paying springing for the friend too. Cause you need a camera man, right? Mm-hmm. You need a camera person. Buy the woman a ring, buy the woman flowers, carry the woman out, etc., etc., etc. Right? And my man, I, I bet you that man saying, see me, give she that ring, I top of mine. Make she cry springs and tears. Make she really see that I love she. She got to, got to. She can't, she can't turn that down. Pressure. Right? <laughs> so, I understand. Send it your pressure. Send it your pressure. You're right. So when a woman come and talk about, oh, yeah, you need a man to apply pressure like that. There's nothing wrong with a man applying pressure like that if he is in contention for being the boyfriend. Well, not the, the boyfriend, the husband. Sorry, if he is the man if he is looking the man, to it, be husband. Exactly. Thank you very much. Right? What you see there, that in real life. That does not happen. That is not going to happen to any and everybody. Don't go into a relationship. Sorry, don't go into a friendship with a man saying, "Oh, if my best friend don't." No, that's forget that. What you see in there, so is its own set of ridiculousness. Because they ain't gonna show you the back nine of that. Many man been trying and trying and trying and trying. This woman got man after man after man, and coming back to her like, "Oh, he's my best friend. He he he, this man treat me so bad." And he gonna deal with that over over, especially after getting a woman a diamond ring. Cause I like an engagement ring, flowers, yes. and a big dinner. I am just saying that ain't gonna end well to the men. Two things. One, if you're if a woman got you in the friend zone, do not give her a ring with the hopes that I can change her mind and get you out to the friend zone. If you're in the friend zone, take that L, get out, pour into yourself, and find another woman. Find something else, find a situation that's more beneficial to you. I'm not saying not to have the woman as a friend, I'm not saying not to be there for the woman, but do not put yourself in a situation where you are in the friend zone. You are there, you live there. Who you get an engagement ring and flowers for? Roses and big dinner. What? Why? 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 Do not do that. 
you are setting up yourself for emotional damage because that woman will tell you, yeah, but I love you as a friend. You gotta eat that. You gotta take that L. And then you gotta take the L. When she get with a man, you might treat you like that. I don't understand why Paul treating me like this. <laughs> He's such a dog. <laughs> God, that other man ain't buying flowers. That other man ain't buying a ring. And that man might not even be carrying shit to that sorry. Might, yeah. might, be, might buy she some McDonald's or Wendy's and then it's... God damn it to me! Men, if you are a friend and she doesn't want to give you anything more than friendship, take that L, be her friend, and keep it trucking. Do not pour into this woman like she is your fiance or this is the woman you want to marry. Cause she got she got, got that memo too. She got to be on the same page with you. She went there in the comment sections, maybe. I ain't sure we can see. Do not set up yourself, man. Please. Uh, yo, somebody says it you did it the right way. A king, when a king knows what he wants, he doesn't hesitate to get the job done. Oh, just, yeah. Fellas, don't fall for these kind of things, right? Relationships work this way. Think of all the relationships you've had. Shoot, ladies, I invite you to think about it too. Think of all the relationships you've had. Relationships start with attraction. First and foremost. You attract, you see somebody, you, you're attracted to them physically. Then you move to the seduction part. You trying to get some from he, he trying to get some from you. After you've come to the realization that we're yeah, we compatible on that level, then you move to the level of comfort where you're trying to make the relationship work and you're trying to get together and, you know, go forward and have a relationship. Mm -hmm. That is the natural order of relationships. Mm -hmm. But what does girlfriend say to us in, the, in one of these comments? when somebody asked her why is this not your man and she said when we first met we both was just looking for a friend no darling you was looking for a friend because as you said you were healing from a horrible past relationship i can assure you that this man was looking at you as a woman right as his woman as his woman mm -hmm. and then Somebody else said in one of the other comments that they had a, um, she, her daughter has a male best friend that did all this kind of stuff and he brought her over, out of a dark place. And her response to that was, baby, he definitely helped me through mine. So to your point, Neil, yes, he is the one that day helping she out of this dark place because Chad and Tyrone, as they say in these spheres, city boys up. City boys, city boys. Done, Brett. She done like a fraction, and no my my here, no trying to repair the damage. If she was attracted to you, you would have known that up front, and you won't go be kind of trying to bribe your way into this woman's heart. Essentially, that's what it is. Yep, that's what you're doing, mm -hmm. fellas. Don't do this. If you go and you step to a woman, and you realize that you. This is gonna sound real bad, but I want you to understand the con the, the the context in which I'm saying it. If you gotta be working hard to get with a woman, she don't like you like that. Women is make it very easy. The barriers to entry, pardon the pun, are very low when a woman like you. And if you don't mean just pause the video right now and think back to all the relationships you would have had before. The women that like you. You don't really had to do no, you had to buy nothing and cash out for the dinner and buying a ring and all kind of thing. You don't have to do all that. Fellas, do not encourage this. As Neil said, you're setting up for failure. Now you said that. Guess what? You doing all of this, and there is another man that ain't doing one eighth of what you're doing. And he is going to be the man beating the bricks off of this chick. The fact that she can't even say, but definitely he can be my mind going forward. She's From, saying yeah. maybe. Brother. Recognize the whole school keeping. I want to also point out before we wrap up and get out of here, please consider that the entry into trying to get her to be his woman is an engagement ring and flowers and a big dinner. Brother man, what suppose, is he going to do? Suppose the woman say, All right, well, let me go forward. You are my man and I am your woman. Let me make a thing out of it. 
one up yourself now what are you gonna do for the engagement ring but flip through a flaming fruit look into a a a a, a cap of water i don't understand what you're gonna do fellas just please please for the i beg you and the reason why i'm so passionate about this is because in any one only said help yourself a failure right but there is nothing as a man i tell you as a man that been in the friend zone i try i never buy the engagement ring for a woman that was in friend zone with but i try hard to get out the friend zone there ain't nothing like you pushing and pushing and pushing up that hill to hear the woman say eh, but no eh, but no eh, but no you got so, a better chance of escaping alcatraz fellas don't do it if you don't do it recognize you gotta be buying here you gotta be buying groceries and depending on the um socioeconomic bracket in which you're playing you gotta be buying top-ups for a phone you got paying a bill here and you gotta be doing this and doing that for people that for women that are not your woman if you gotta be doing all of that and you are no just way to hold them and no way to fold them are you just platonic yo man save yourself a trip to therapy left that out because that's right. therapy <laughs> left yeah, that, out. Aid. that is going to aid as therapy hey if the two of them get together and it works so hey more power to them but fellas this is not the way to go just letting you know i know if, if, don't mind nobody that telling you what applying pressure <laughs> that is foolishness <laughs> because the women themselves know when they're like you you ain't gonna be doing a 90 day rule and um, you ain't gonna be paying for this and buying that. You ain't gonna do all that. You might go to big car and then man be horny you put a bicycle or a foot if a woman like you. Facts. Large facts. Anyhow, folks, it's been us and it short like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to ensure that you do not miss any of the content we got coming for you. We're gonna see you guys again very, very soon. The contaminated environment. And the two tools about that.